Good evening, good evening everybody. Welcome to my slightly earlier than planned uh, Wednesday night stream. As we're a little bit earlier, let's see if we can capture some sales. Now I have been around the auction house a little bit today, um, just to post a few things on. So I'm going to have a look and see what my mail has brought me today and yesterday, because I was on briefly yesterday as well. So we do have a few sales to have a look for. See if there's any expires. I think I managed to get most of the expires. Yes, I did. So there's all sales at the moment. So, which is a nice 72,000, which is brilliant. I'll come back and have a look at those in a minute. What I'm gonna do first though, is I'm gonna do a cancel scan of my enchants. Because as we're on reset day, now's the great time to make sure we've got everything on. So let's have a look at our major sellers. <laughs> Good evening, Jeff Brown. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. I'll run a cancel scan. And we'll get most of these off. Now I have found TSM to be a little bit slower on Mr. Potato of late. Um, but we'll see how it gets on today. We were having problems um, yesterday. So I'll see how things go. Ah, good evening, Costa. How are you? Apologies for the uh, slightly earlier than planned stream today. I'm, uh, I was a bit under the weather the past couple of days, so I've uh, shifted my stream tonight a little bit earlier so that I don't have to do a late one tonight. So I don't think I've got the stamina to do a late one today. I've been off work these past couple of days. So um, I think if I have an earlier one tonight, then I'm going back into work tomorrow. So hopefully we should have a few sales we can capture being on reset day. Hey Jack, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. I am slightly earlier than normal, yes. I wasn't in work today, so thank you very much. I also got a new, a new supply of t-shirts and this one is uh, Red 13 from uh, Final Fantasy VII. Yes, exactly, Jack. I got a huge uh, order through from uh, QWERTY and I've got uh, six new t-shirts to show off on stream. And this is one of them. This one's called uh, Canyon's Guardian. All right, let's do another few re-cancels re on this one. Run another cancel on. We've got to wait till 2023 for the remake. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, it's kind of, I don't know what's happened to it. There was a PC version a while ago, but I don't know whether that actually got made or anything. Um, I still fondly remember the PlayStation 1 version. I played Final Fantasy 7, 8 and 9 were the three main Final Fantasies I played, and I loved every one of them. I used to spend most of my weekends just sat on my bed um, playing each of those. There is an original one, okay, on Steam, yeah. It's ridiculous, yeah. Hey, Morgana Kane, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. How are you doing this fine Monday? No, it's not Monday, it's Wednesday. I've got all my days mixed up. That's what happens when you're ill. Also, 8, 9 and 10, ah, oh, interesting. I, I do like, um, I think 7, 8 and 9 are the three main ones I've played. Um, obviously I like seven because it was the original one I played, um, but eight and nine also are ranked highly in my books as uh, as the ones I really enjoyed at the time. All on the PlayStation 1 back in the day. Uh, seven had a good story, it did. I'm going to get all my cancels off. I'm going to see if we can get some of these on. I don't sound nasally anymore. Yes, I think, I'm not sure what it was I had. It was some sort of cold stroke hay fever stroke sickness bug. I tried going into work on Tuesday and ended up uh, throwing up on the train, which wasn't fun. There we go, run a post scan. Um, Sephiroth, yeah, definitely. Sephiroth was the the ultimate villain. Hey Seahorse, how are you? Uh, if you want restock to work properly, do you have to post 
on the character you craft with, or can you still track via a bank tune? Um, I think TSM should track every character that has stuff. Um, if you use the gather option when you're restocking, it will tell you to, like, say one character's got something. Um, it would say you that character then has to send it to the other person to be able to then post it. So it should work across... Um, TSM should see all your characters and know what each character has, and then you should be able to send them across. So that's that should work. But I usually do everything. If I'm going to restock, um, I tend to post with the character that's making it, because for me that's... Um, Are uh, you having issues where it lets you make duplicates? Ah, the other thing you have to make sure is when you've done a post scan, like say for example, I'm gonna post all these enchants on. If I go and do a restock now, there's kind of like a period between TSM knowing that it's posted on and it actually seeing it on the auction house where TSM doesn't think they're on anymore. And so if I do a restock now, it's going to think that those items I've just put on aren't there, and it's going to suggest I restock them. Oh, nice screenshot of Samadan there. Hold on, let me just move this across. There we go. So if I do a restock now, because I haven't looked at the auction house since posting those on, they go into like this um, null space, or some space where um, TSM can't see it. So if I do a restock now, let's see if this actually proves my theory. It's gone a bit slow today. I'm not sure it's since the last update. Ah, it's not showing it me this time. Okay. The other thing you have to do, though, if it does do that, is you literally go onto the auction house and look at your auctions and give TSM a little time to just register what's gone on there and then go to restock. And that sometimes works. It doesn't see items in the mailbox. There you go. That's what Costa says. Um... Uh, Yeah, no worries. It's one of the little quirks of um, TSM you have to kind of like be a bit aware of. My frame rate's going a little bit sluggish here. See, that's dipping down to 20 frames per second every time it's loading up something. That's interesting. I don't know if that's going to affect my... Um... Now pay us 5k each. <laughs> Yes, definitely dipping. It's, see that it just drops down to 11 frames per second every time it's loading up the tooltip. I definitely have experienced performance issues today. I'm not sure whether it's a TSM update thing or not. But things do seem to be a bit slow. Let's see if we can manage it today. See how it works. I'm going to cancel those off. And then we're going to put this back on. I did. I literally cleared it just before um, loading it up, Jack. Um, what's the deal with pets and transmogs trying to get into crafting? Okay, Seahorse. Well, it's a great opportunity to do so. Definitely. All right, let's take the other cancels off. And then we can have a check of our sales later. Yeah, my frame rate does seem to be a little bit on the slow side at times. Ah, good evening, Mango Jeeves. Doing very well here, thank you. How are you? I need to reset my modem. Yeah, I haven't reset it since this morning. This morning, when it got turned on this morning, so it should be okay. But it does seem to be more of a frame rate thing, because there you can see, I've got the FPS on, and it drops down to 20 or 10 frames per second. I'm not dropping any frames on OBS. Ah, good evening, Sonic Astro. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. So it's a bit of a strange one. We'll monitor it and see how it goes. I found it really slow buying some items um, earlier today when I was on. So I'll just keep an eye on it, see how things go. All right, let's go have a look at our sales. Let's go see what we've got. So we've got some good sales coming in. We have 72,000 in the mail, a Hydral Expedition Bag, 
which is the first time I've been selling those for a while because Ember Silk cloth has now dropped to nine gold per cloth. So I decided to make an expedition bag instead to try and um, move my cloth in a different direction. And it's paid off because I've sold one already. So that's really good. Uh, bindings of Haste, Mastery Strength. Traveler's Backpack, I don't remember we're getting that. Some more shirts, lots of shirts in fact. So someone's going for the Fashion Easter one. Oh yes, the new Mount Jack, yes. Yes, the Brontosaurus. The Mount. Oh wow, pointy gnome. Four months in a row, that's amazing. Thank you ever so much. Four lovely months of Sam, yeah, thank you. Thank you ever so much, uh, pointy gnome. So kind of you. Yeah, the mount is, uh, what's that? That's, that's a bit of a game changer, isn't it, having that mount? I mean, you still need to be near a mailbox, won't you? And it certainly has changed my focus on things because it's only five million gold and I was going to save up um, between now and Battle for Azeroth. I was gonna save up for the spider mount, which is two million gold. So I'm thinking as a new goal now is to go over the whole hog and go for five million and try and get this auction house mount. Um, so I reckon that's that's doable. It's certainly, you know, next two months, I mean, it's it's a stretch because I've only got, how much have I got? 903,000. Go big or go home. Hey, lift it up, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Yes, I don't think it'll be a problem at all. Is it confirmed as an auction house mount or just a rumour? I have no idea, Seahorse. I just saw the threads going around on Twitter. So um, I was thinking, uh, yeah, that's definitely uh, one for me. If it does come to pass, if it doesn't, well, then that's fine. Oh, it is confirmed, is it, Jack? Excellent. So I've just got to basically make all the money. Shouldn't be too hard. I've sold a few things here. Obliterum sold. Delicacy platter. A few feasts. Thermal anvil. Some more bear tartar, which is useful. Okay. That's good. Let's get that gold in the coffers. This mount also comes with an auctioneer and a merchant. Yeah. Perfect for listing stuff when on the run. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Is there a mobile post box, actually, thinking about that? There's an engineering thing that's on a cooldown. But is there one that can give you a, um, a post mobile post box? Is it in the lost mail? There's two to three toys, okay. The Molly mailbox, engineering. And there should be a pet as well. Okay, this is good to know. Because obviously you'll need... Ah, the Lost Mail toy is one as well, okay. So I've got that quest, I need to also make sure I do that quest. Which would be another thing to do. Oh look, someone's earned the achievement Val of the Sands. Congratulations to uh, Death Kappa. Um, faction discounts apply, these prices. So if you're exalted with Zandalari or Proudmoor, you get 20% discount, uh, saving you a million gold. Ah, well, that's going to be, that's going to be essential then. Definitely. I have to make sure I get that, make the most of my human racial abilities. Did I post everything on? I can't remember. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, it looks like all that's on. So I'll just have a quick check of our auctions. I'm going to do a restock on the things that we need. Um, those were the ones we had before, so we'll clear the queue and do a proper one in a minute. Let's go down to da, 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 restock selected groups. It should be the same ones. So I don't think anything's changed between now and then. There's definitely some sluggishness going on here. Binding a mastery and an elemental force which needs three mysterious essences which will be in the guild vault. So let's go over and get those. Yeah, that's a lot of gold. A million is, is a very significant amount. 
Okay, it's Katie's from the Lost Mail. Brilliant, thank you. Alright, let's uh, gather these items. As you might have noticed, my guild bank tab is looking a bit empty there for me. Um, I found a few things that I shoved on earlier today. And I've still got a load of lock boxes I need to sort out. So I'll put those there. I'll give these... I'll make a rogue one day so I can do all these uh, myself. But for now, I'll just keep them in the guild bank. And then we'll craft that one elemental force. Now we'll have a load of tailoring to do because we sold loads of shirts. So let's have a look at those. Wait for this to come back. Uh, there we go. Crafting, groups, tailoring, tailoring, restock. Yeah, there's definitely some slowness going on here. Is it really just those two? Okay. Well, I'm not going to make any more crafted gladiators stuff. I'm going to leave that one. But I will make another Hygel Expedition bag. So I need some more bolts of ember silk. Because that sold really quickly. So I only put that on earlier today. So I'll pick up the Volatile Life. And then we need to make 20 bolts of ember silk. So let's do that in here. Um, bolt of ember silk. Where is my bolt of ember silk? Let's try that again. There we go, bolt of ember silk. Knew it was there somewhere. And we want, how many do we want? 20. 20. 20 bolts of ember silk. Create those. There we go. Um, potion of herb tracking. Uh, create a potion of herb tracking. Oh, right. Is that, is that for Age Awakening, my alchemist? What does a potion of herb... Oh, obviously it does herb tracking. But is that any good? Because don't you get the herb tracking anyway? Well, not in the beginning. Ah, right, okay. Make that. And then we'll do cooking whilst we're here. Let's switch to cooking. Do it that way. Maybe shows on the bigger map. Hmm. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Because people are using add-ons for that mainly anyway, aren't they? So is this a new thing in BFA? You already sold like 40 dread leather items. Wow, Costa, that's cool. I haven't checked on Earth and what the dread leather situation is like. I don't think I've got many on. I'll have a look. Um, let's do the gathering on these whilst we're here. There's a few intermediate crafts to do. So we'll gather those. Big gamey ribs, stone dark snails. Ever opened a quest from Alicia in Stormwind and read her poem? No, I haven't lifted it up actually. Don't think I have. Seems like it. Easy to fill uh, the gather mate data far fast. Yeah, that's true. Squirrel. <laughs> yeah. As always, Cosset, as always. In the garden. Okay. Sounds interesting. I'm not going to do it just yet because otherwise I will get distracted by squirrels, as can happen. Um, intermediate craft is a Barracuda Murglar. So I'll add one of those in. Cue that up. Things are a bit sluggish here. And I should have enough for the Nightborn Dulcy Platters. A story behind an alpha player that passed away. Oh, really? Alright, everything's gone a bit weird, as in I'm missing stuff. Collect those up. Alright, now we should make everything. 
now it's updated there's definitely some sluggishness going on I don't know whether it's just Mr. Potato or not or whether it's a TSM thing something does seem to be going a bit awry shall we say we need some more Barracuda Murglar now um, just for these delicacy platters so we need another two but we should have enough because it doesn't it make ten anyway crafts ten yeah well, let's make one that should be enough there we go yeah I don't think it's updating very much there we go we'll We'll leave it at that and pretend it's done. I think that'll be fine. Oh, thank you, uh, Osrol. No problem. Thanks ever so much for stopping by. Your server the Draenor and Silvermoon. If it wasn't sluggish, you'd be puzzled. <laughs> that was very kind of you, Osrol. Thank you for your support. All right. Yeah, I'm struggling with the sluggishness. It's not normally this sluggish on Mr. Potato and um, my server. I don't know whether it's a time of day thing because I'm normally on later at night or or what? All your auction house modules for the garrison is going to drop in price of that mount. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's put these on. Uh, okay, you bought since Friday flasks for under 400. Ah, okay, going to check if sold in 525. Well, that'd be a nice markup, Costa. What's the actual. Um, okay, hold on, did I miss something? I'll tell you again, get them on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm just making sure I've got all your messages through. Right, okay, so let's just make sure we've got all these on. Okay. Do you wonder if the auctioneer is going to be for personal use? Yes, I wonder that, or whether anyone who's next to the mount can use it. It'll be interesting. Right, I haven't got anything else in there. We've done our restocks, so that's fairly easy actually. We're not too bad, because I had been um, on earlier today. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's whenever there's a shortage of ingredients, you wonder whether it's worth farming them yourself that's for sure all right what else does samadan need to do we've done daily cooldowns already we could probably do with picking up these two order hall things and we've got some work orders to pick up so let's go do those in dalaran and then we'll have a uh, have a look at uh, nomi and the world quests hey pandalus how are you i love those icons they're really nice um Evil owner of Mount rides away halfway through the scan. <laughs> oh, of course, yes, he heals. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Imagine an army of goblins hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, exactly. Ah, there is no shortage. You're basically saying you've, you've bought them. Uh, uses your Mount like the Transmog Mount. They have to pay an extra fee to the owner. Yeah, that would, that would be cool. My right mouse button isn't working. Having problems with that. Like 10 gold extra. Yeah, and then you can take a cut on that. That's a good idea. Alright, let's pick these up. What have we got? Um, the eggs, slightly burnt food, prepared ingredients, and some scraps. Nothing of use to me there. So we'll drop those. We'll sell the rest. Um, slightly burnt food. And there was the b badly burnt food as well. I thought there was. See you around. Yeah, there was two of them. Where are they? Let's search for them. There it is. Badly burnt food. Didn't recognise the icon. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you're going to find... Um, auction houses popping up in the weirdest of places 
Randomly you'll see some brontosaur appear on the top of a mountain in the distance from someone who's been farming that area. It's going to be brilliant. Hello Cookie, how are you doing tonight? Right, and let's go through and have a look at our missions. Two completed. We have gold, which is good. And we have some more Argusian Reach. Alright, any gold missions? No. Anything worth doing? Maybe some Veiled Argonite. Might as well, as it's a bonus. Don't really need artifact power anymore, so I'll leave the rest. Legion Fall Insignia I don't need. Okay, let's leave that. Cookie says, it's so early. <laughs> Can I go play outside? Yeah, I've got just gotten her in from playing outside with the neighbour's cat, so uh, it's now her official indoors time. Even though she's been sleeping on our bed all day today. She's probably looking at me thinking, you're, you're too early, but I'll sleep here anyway. Any opportunity to sleep and she'll take it. All right, let's have a look at world quests. How are we doing for world quests? Anything good? Oh, there's an invasion on. Can't make use of that really, because uh, I don't have any level 100 to 110 characters. Bacon's not really worth doing at that point at five, so we'll leave those. And then I think we'll head on back to... Oh, we'll do our garrison. Let's do our garrison next. See if we can get some more bits and pieces done with our hex weave. And then I'll try and... I think I'll move on quite swiftly to Earthen and Awakening this time. Because I'd like to get them progressed further. Because they mean more opportunities with gold making. So, completed missions here, weapon enhancement, garrison resources, all useful. Uh, rush order, yes please. And any good garrison resources, uh, that one's at 100%, I'll take that. That one's at 100%, as is that one. That's at 92, and that's at 79. Might as well, give it a go. If it wins, it wins. And then we'll run around. What have we got? Oh, the herb trader is on. Interesting. Okay, so herbs. What herbs have I got? I should have most of them. So I'll do that. And then we'll use access to our guild bank. Wherever it is. Um, general mobile banking. See what herbs we can pick up. Hey, um, Noxim and Krapata, how are you both? Thanks for stopping by. I actually wanted the guild bank. So we want, we're going to keep the Gorgrind. We're going to go with, um, what else have we got? Um, it's a bit of a mess, obviously. So what did we need? Uh, let's have a look. Um, fireweed, starflower, frostweed, background arrow bloom, fireweed. What have we got? Fireweeds there. And frostflower. Frostweed. 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 That's... Oh, no, there was some there, wasn't there? Yep, there it is. Collect all that up. That and that. Nagrand. Arrow Bloom. It's there. And there. I can see chats going off. I'll just... Uh, be with you in one moment and then what was the other one I was missing only. Um, Talador Orchid 
and star flower. Spread the good word, eh? Talador. I haven't got any Talador. Oh, yes, I have. There it is. And there. And star flower. Not starlight rose. Star flower. Lots of starlight rose. And this is where I could really do with it being more organised. Okay, there we go. Right, uh, check chatting game. Um, certain items for leatherworking will need to be bought. Will not show up uh, in the be made list. Cannot create a profit price. Ah, uh, yes, because it doesn't know the profit. So I have to go through those and uh, work out the uh, the price of things. Okay, will do, Costa. Um, can't even go to your night walks with this heat wave. Oh no, Cropata, that's a shame. Yeah, um, it's not too hot here in the UK, but um, I have heard it's hot in other places. Uh, where are we going with these? Um, that maximum, okay. That maximum, okay. That one, maximum, okay. That one, maximum. And that one. There we go. That was easy. And then we'll pick up resources, another 406. Ooh, ouch, yeah. Oh, anything over 30 is definitely uncomfortable. Yeah. Tw low twenties is is my is my um, is where I like it to be. It's a little bit chilly today, but yesterday was really pleasant here in the UK. Right, okay, let's get some more herbs. Ready for next time. Twenty nine in the shade in Finland. Wow. Hey, Klinda, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. And one hundred and fourteen k. Thank you very much for the follow. Very kind of you. Thanks for stopping by. And almost gone, B. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. How's your Wednesday been? How's reset day for those of us that are in the EU? I'm going to go through, collect these up. I'm not going to hand these into the herb trader. I'm going to save these for next time. Maybe think about reorganizing my stuff a bit better because my guild bank's a mess, as we all know. But I'll go through and keep these for now. And then I can put them all in one place in my guild bank. Now that I've created a bit more space, that should be easier to do. Okay. Now's the time as you have more space. Exactly. That's exactly what I just said. For that very reason. Why did I not plant just the one plant? Um, I did do Gorgon Flytrap for quite a while because I needed that for the Hexweave bags. But now I just keep it on random, because um, I don't really mind what ones I get now. But I can see the appeal, actually, of having just one, actually. Actually, no, thinking about that, that wouldn't make sense to me, because um, I would have a variety of ones, depending on what I can find on... It sells for five times the price of the other. Oh, okay. Which one sells for more? I'll have to have a look at that in a minute. Um, yours, you're good. I uh, haven't done any gold making for the last month. So a bit, as I'm a bit burned out. No problem, almost gone be. If you need a break, you need a break. That's exactly the way to go for it. Um, so excited about the dino mount with the auctioneer on it. Now I'm wondering if this mount has massively impact the auction house. Hey, Kaylin, we were just thinking about that ourselves. Um, I don't think it will... Um, impacts the auction house a lot personally maybe the times that guilds post things on but other than that i'm i'm not sure it will oh just sold a binding of haste uh you're doing good clinda expanding your sales with crafted transmog from blacksmith nice um doing very well here thank you we're just going through our normal restocks and things which we're kind of done most of already which is quite nice um, I was going to have a look at those different herbs, see which one was the more expensive. 
And what have we got? Uh, fireweed, one gold. Gorgrund's three gold. That's one gold, and that's one gold. So Gorgrund is the more expensive of them. Oh, another value of haste has gone. Uh, so we'll do that on you. Randomly. And we'll get that rep for that one. The auction house has been very kind to me so much. It was on a break, but you saw that mount and you were like, ah, yep, need to get that five million. Or four million if you got the reputation, as Jack rightly pointed out earlier. Yeah, because I'm currently sat at 977,000. So over the next two months, it'll be interesting to see how much money I can, I, I can save up. I think it's entirely doable for someone in my position. I haven't got all pro um, professions done, but I have got a fair, fair handle on the ones I have got done. So I think with what I am selling, I should be able to get at least a few million. Can you make a countdown timer? That's a good idea. Yeah, I might, might have to do that to give myself some extra motivation and do like a... Um, I wonder if I could link in how much gold I've got between the amount of amount of gold I have and um, BFA being um, being live. The road to five million. Of course, it'll probably be four million. Those. Yeah, most players are around uh, fifty to a hundred thousand. I can imagine it's a similar price. Yeah, uh, nothing to sell. I don't think. Okay, uh, how much hex weave have I got actually? Looking at that, uh, 158, enough to make a bag. As that's my best seller. Let's just make one up now. Once TSM has worked itself out, hex weave bag, create. Right, let's go on, do that. Um, Oh yeah, and the average you need to make a day. That might stress me out a bit too much, Costa, if I look at that. I might feel the pressure a bit too much. Ooh, that's a cheap price for Hexby bags. I'm not selling them for that. 1,500? No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Let's have a look at that. Hexweave bags. There's just the four on for that. Okay, let's go shopping for Hexweave bags. They should be more like two and a half thousand. So I'm going to buy those four. And I would be tempted to take even those two. Where would I have to push it up to though? I'd have to push it up to here, really. Which means buying a lot of bags for not a massive amount of profit. Whereas that's an extra 176 minus the 5% auction house cut, which is going to be, um, or if that was 2000, then that would be 40 gold. Um, no, not 40 gold, it would be um, 100 gold. So that doesn't really give me much profit if I sold those two. But it does mean that I could sell them for higher because between 85% and 92% is a big difference. Or I just manually go under those and I post up my min price at something around here, perhaps. But then these are all quite close to each other. You tend to work in the 20k plus markets. Okay. That's for, you rarely sell stuff at that price, sell a bit more at the 50k mark, and so on down the list. Did I miss something earlier from the West Combi? That was about the, uh, most people having the, um... oh, okay, if people don't have the 100k, then that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I'm with you now. Which gives you an idea as to how much people have. Right. Even though it's not much of a profit, I still think it's a profit if I buy these two. So 
So I'm going to buy those two. <laughs> are you the one? Are you the man who does Twitch, lol? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am live now. You sell from above a million mark and downwards. You sell most of the 20, 10 to 20,000 ish. Ah, okay. Well, that just kind of shows what people are willing to spend, doesn't it? Because the high ticket items I've never really been in the market for. Right, so let's have a look. Okay, we've got all of this lot in here. Um, we bought the Hexweave bags, so let's pick those up. We're going to change the price of these. Well met. <laughs> ah, it's by Kinder. Okay, so auctioning. Let's do a post scan. Let's have a look. Right, hex weave bags. It's server dependent as always. Yes, this is true. This is true. Uh, definitely uh, almost combi. Time to craft a um, hundred ember silk bags. Wow. Hey, Mama Kinda, good to see you. Thanks for your whisper earlier. RIP time. That's a lot of bags. I don't have much luck with the ember silk bags myself, Krapata, but uh, good luck for you on those ones. The recently bag non stop displaying the gold across characters on you. Okay, of your characters still works on all the others. How to fix that? Uh, not, not that I know, um, Haggis, but hopefully someone who uses um, bag non will be able to help you with that one. So we're going for 2175 for our hex weave bags. I'm not sure whether I really want to sell them for this, so I'm just going to post a couple on for that price. I'm going to keep the rest for another time. I'm going to skip those. But I'm going to post my musk and butter on because that sells. There we go, and I'll leave the rest. There we go. You're not going to sell any hexy bags into BFA. Here, the 32 bags will take a bit uh, to make. So, to me, hex will be wanted in enough. Yeah, I think so, Brain Dead. I think there'll be a crossover, definitely. I think the same will be with the Legion Enchants as well. I think they'll still sell uh, as people are leveling up new characters through and want to um, stick um, enchants onto heirlooms and things. Sometimes you wonder if. High-end items, uh, just goblin swapping items. You never know, I guess. It could be that, couldn't it? Just bought a pair of rhinestone glasses for 35k. Wow, pointy gnome. Big spender there, definitely. So use the Titan panel with all the gold choice turned on, so you can see total and tomb gold count across all tombs. Ah, interesting. Probably gonna use it on yourself. I don't blame you, pointy name. So let's say you're at naught gold and you want to get the mount. Okay, you've done the mass, have you? Um, on the first day of VFA, then you need to make 56,000 profit a day from this moment. Okay, Jack, those are scary numbers there. Scary, but doable. 56,000 is a, a large amount, um, and that's every single day. So if you miss a day, you've got to make 100,000 the next day. So it is a significant amount. Um, now, I looking at my averages, I don't think I would get that much. I don't think my average is that high. Let's have a look at the ledger. Ooh, this is new. What happened to my ledger? Oh, they updated it, didn't they? Revenue? Where's my summary gone? Sales per item, last 30 days. Okay. Other? Resale, 
expenses and failed auctions. Okay, that's not giving me, unfortunately, um, give me much of a uh, summary anymore. That's a shame. Okay, well I can't work out what my profit is for this point. You're on 40k a day, are you, Costa? Oh, that's cool. And then the Exalted makes it 4 million. Yeah. That's 5 million gold for the dipping. <laughs> you haven't done much gold making for a month, so can't beat that one. Fair enough, almost gone B. And you have half a million on you at the moment. So that should be alright then, Costa, I take it. If someone wants to do the math on that one. I'm currently at 967,000 with about a million worth on the auction house. So it all depends on what I can do and what I can sell in that time. Let's have a look at our auctions at the moment. We have had a few sales of enchants, so we ought to really just restock on a few of these before switching character. Uh, good evening, Apple. How are you? Uh, try and get 5 million just for the bragging rights. Yeah, I think so. Just to get it early. Hey, Billis, how are you? I'm sure on day one, all will sell for like 1k gold each. Yes, this is true, Billis, isn't it? The um, I've never experienced an expansion from um, the beginning, so I'd be very interested to see how it pans out from a gold-making potential, because it's, it's like... Um, Everything goes crazy, I hear, on the prices, and then it settles down. Eventually, once people work out where you can get three things from and what and what they cost. Already heard about the mount. Yeah, it's been the uh, it's been the talk of the uh, talk of the chat. If we get if you get to the five million on the first MBFA, you'll buy the mount. I think I would too, Jack, um, just for the um, just for the ability to have it, because it is cool, definitely. All right, let's just go pick up some temporal crystals. I've only got one to restock on, so we'll have a look. Hey, McBainy, how are you? Start of Legion, stacks of 200 herbs selling for 15 to 20,000. Wow, okay. Did they actually sell for that amount as well? That's the question. Right, got those, got that, craft that, click that. Now we just need it to fly. Yeah, that'd be a bit scary having a giant brontosaurus flying over you. Oh, stuck. No right mouse button. There we go. We're fixed. Where will you park it? Thinking um, eastern coast and hinterlands. Ah, I don't know of the place, uh, Cravata, but I think any anywhere obscure, out of the way, is going to be fantastic. Just to have randomly have your mount there. I think it's going to be brilliant. Maybe you get a choice. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, you sold your first 200 stack of that. Um, hard to spell her. The Fjorn Skaggle one. I can never pronounce that one. Right, let's just skip these. Post that one. Gift of haste. Done. Right, okay, we're going to leave the rest of those for now. And let's swap over to Earthen. Let's see if we can get some gold going on multiple characters. Hey, Mr. Cool, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, it's been your experience at the beginning of expansions, those who are prepared, Illidan, <laughs> have a feeding frenzy, then the guys who follow trends pick them up, have a nice bit for a month or so after. And then there's a lovely bit for a month um, where things are settled down, prices stabilise, things are still decent. All in all, it's a nice time to be a goblin. I think that's a pretty good appraisal, Haggis. I'm looking forward to it. Definitely. The more people get them out, the less people they'll be in the major cities, and I'll be posted way more on the auction house. What's that from Kinder? That's your that's your cat's your cat's name. <laughs> oh, you're gonna miss the launch. So, sorry to hear that lifted up. 
you go on holiday on the day one of the expansion. Oh no, Apple. Need to plan holidays better. Right, load of expires. So let's deal with those. And we've got some gold. 137 gold. So that's something. You leave on the 12th and it launches on the 14th. Youch. Yeah, I haven't got any plans as of yet around that time. But um, I'm going to try and make myself available as much as I can. Yeah, just cancel. Not sure how well that will go down with significant others and such, though. I um, wonder how many is going to be new players or returning ones comes with BFA. I think a large portion of people do will come back just to check it out. Um, and then those are the sort of people that leave again quite quickly afterwards. Um, but I don't know for sure. It'd be nice to have some new players in as well. Need to up your enchanting game. I haven't posted anything for a month or so. Yeah, I definitely recommend it, Kripata. They're still going strong for me, so um, I'd recommend it. Yeah, I think uh, lift it up, summed it up there. You just about get back when it launches. Oh, good timing then, Mr. Spickle. Well, that means more work. Always look on the bright side, eh, Jack? Enchants, dual crossing, top tailoring and blacksmithing. Still selling well. Excellent apple. There's a good mix of stuff there, definitely. Um, so we've just got two sales, leather barding and drums of fury. So let's get those done and in and post everything else on. Run a post scan. Okay, let's get all of this lot on. bit slow on the scan, 64 pages. You have to step up your gold making game um, to buy them out. Haven't you got loads of uh, gold, Billis? I seem to remember seeing your tweets that you, you tend to have a, a lot. I'm sure you've got, got five billion to spare. Uh, da, 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 what else we got? Uh, when you're prepared for two years or so, the concept of resub seems weird. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I guess I haven't prepaid that much. Um, I've got, I'm only at one month left, but I do have six months ready to put in. Put that in the stream. Uh, new auction house mount. Yeah, that, that'll be it, uh, Jack. As in, you mean the title in, in the stream today or in... Um, or when I get it, that'll be the thing. Or just do the same and don't buy Hearthstone packs. <laughs> Studying constant isn't the same as cooking. For alchemy, oh, that's good to know. I'm about to get started in my alchemy. Uh, this will be your first expansion where you won't start grinding content with one character immediately. Going to level all characters for, to 120 for the different professions. That sounds like a good idea, Clinda. People love to talk about that now. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hey, Score Shane, how are you? We're doing all 30 degrees for you. Yeah, it's a bit cooler here. Doing better, thank you. So I've been a bit ill these past couple of days, so um, I am better now, so that's good. Um, otherwise, I'll spend it all on Overwatch boxes. <laughs> Must be confusing you with someone. I don't even have a Twitter account. Oh, right. Uh, players are still levelling the tunes, so old enchants are selling quite well. Uh, so we've got the hard to get enchants back in the day, sold one for 40k. Yes, that's that's the thing, is you want to get through there quite quickly, don't you? Um, from today, keep your main title and add a line about the mount with it. Ah, yes, okay, I'm with you, Jack. Yeah, that's a good idea. And on, on the goal towards that 5 million, the road to 5 million. Let's post these up whilst I'm reading chat. And because it's going a bit slow. 
Uh, tokens weren't going down, so prepaying was the next step after maximum bathmet balance getting tokens. All the ward potions sell well. Uh, okay. Uh, nearing 2 million. Okay, cool. Um, I have a question. Someone mentioned in a stream the other day that if Blizz intended to add more TCG stuff to the black market auction house, then they were from the rival source. Ooh, that's an interesting idea, uh, I guess. I don't know. Only three more million to go, yep. Back to homework. Okay, lift it up. Thank you ever so much for stopping by. Uh, people get curious and um, maybe try and hop in here and check it out. Yes, that's true, uh, Jax. Good idea. I have to remember that for next time. Right, there we go. So pleased you didn't buy the spider mount. I was very close to uh, saving up for that myself, Apple, so um, I'm glad I've got something else to go for now. Spends a little on BlizzCon 2, and then uh, most going for the second account, um, not till after a little while after BFA is out and going. I think that's a fair enough uh, thing. Would sell your spider mount for 5 million. <laughs> yeah. It is a lovely mount. I would like to get it still, definitely. All right, what do we need to restock on? Let's have a quick look. Come on, let's move that back up. Leather working. We need to do the dread leather. Um, we're not going to do the crafted stuff. 10 drums of fury. Uh, we need some stone hide leather. That's what we do need. Uh, you don't think it's it's as good to you? Almost. I mean, it's true. It doesn't fly. I mean, flying would be good. <laughs> hey, I am dynamic. How are you? I'm doing very well here. Thank you very much. You can climb trees with it. Well, that's cool. I like that. Uh, 20k for the mammoth was used, then 120 for the yak, then the spider is just inflation. This is true. Need more flying. Yeah, flying spiders. That would definitely be good. Flying dinosaur with a city on its back would be nice. <laughs> I like your thinking. I love spiders. I think spiders are awesome. This isn't updating, but I'm assuming I've got enough drums. We do need to go shopping for some stone hide leather though, so let's have a look at our leather side of things. See if there's any good bits. Reminds me of Dino Riders, the new mount. I remember that. Vaguely. One hundred and twelve k for the yak was a pocket change for you uh, when that mount was first introduced. Two million for a useless spider is way too much for you nowadays. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, stone hide is currently at four gold twenty. Not ideal, but we'll pick some up whilst it's available. What have we got? Anything under? Five is probably going to do me okay, so I'm going to take the bigger ones that I can. One, two, three, four of those. Never got the Zolgarab uh, Tiger mount. There's so many mounts I haven't got. So many. Yeah, this is definitely slower than I'm used to. Don't think it's a time of day thing. So what else can we get? Let's get these three of 200. Not ideal pricing. Uh, under five will do for now. I'll pick up the scraps. I'll get the 51. What else are we left with? Two of... That's exotic leather. It's not too bad, actually. What's my normal price for exotic leather? Two gold. Okay. 89 days left for BFA. Wow, okay, that's quite scary. I remember thinking it was just a couple of days. Uh, it just seems like a couple of days when it was 100. Now it's at 89, that's quite scary indeed. 
Alright, there's a lot of exotic leather here for 292. Magnificent hide's cheap though, ish, at 99. I'll take those cheaper ones. What's the region average for magnificent hides? Region's 174. So I'm going to take the one. And yeah, Jack already did the math on that one, but it's, it's quite uh, sobering. Worst mount farm we've done was for the time lost um, protection drake mining in Storm Peaks North End. When you spotted the drake you need to kill, killed it and was flying down to loot it when the server went down. Oh no! That's terrible. Terrible luck. Raw beast hide. Let's get some of that. Alright. The trick here is not to spend too much of my gold, which is tricky. We're at 67,000, so Earthen is gaining on the gold front. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with playing multiple Blizzard games, Billis, is um, once you start buying extra things from different games, your gold will soon disappear. Definitely. Haunting Spirit, there's a lot of that. I don't think I really need that, though. Um... So, back to the stone hide. Anything of a significant amount that's under 5. 60 there. 6 lots of 10. Let's take those and then we'll call that done. Very slow. One more. Done. Okay. Right. Let's go pick that up. collect my purchases then we can at least go and collect everything up you can only sell 10 WoW tokens per week interesting I hadn't even considered selling WoW tokens those are the ones you buy with real money though isn't it still need the time lost offered a bunch of people you know a token if they find one find you one still no hits <laughs> I don't know about that one, uh, Haggis. Uh, Iceweb last night bought a little over 7k for under 2 gold each. Well, if you find a use for it, then it's worth going for, Scorchian. Uh, so someone who wants to buy them out using real money will have to sell tokens for two weeks. Ah, I see you're thinking on that. Okay, so there's your limit there. Let's say you can get exalted in a month with a faction for the auction house mount. You need to make 33,000 a day from today. Okay, well that's a little bit more palatable, Jack. So instant five million mount for those with the cash. That's profit as well, yes. That's something that you need to bear in mind, isn't it? Not just in sale numbers, it has to be profit. Um, let's make a couple of bardings. I'm sure I did those drums. Because those aren't updating. Look at that. Let's try that again. Let's see if I go. Oh, that is updating now. Okay. Let's make seven of them. I think that was adding the extra month's time for the reputation and then taking off the the million for um the four million to make it four million. So I just made five drums, so this should be down to two, not seven. So that should mean two more drums and we're done. But no, we're still making drums. There's a definite error there. It's not registering or updating. Okay, well we've made, we've made some anyway, so let's go pop those on. Auctioning, run post scan. Let's get these on at least, if nothing else. Posting at my current price. Stonehide Bardings, maximum amount already posted. What's my maximum amount posted then? I've got three in my bags, five on the auction house. I need to up my amount for Stonehide Leather Bardings. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Um, groups. Leather working. 
bombarding. Group operations. We're making seven of each. And my crafting standard of 110 has a post cap of five. So we need to change that to 10. Just to account for that. And run another post scan. I'm just trying to cave without. Okay, so it might be 10%. Uh, from where I was, okay. Okay, so it depends what Wowhead says and whether it's correct. Okay, those are on. Now the dread leather side of things, we haven't expanded into all of our dread leather yet. So we do need to get those going. Um, we need more rank threes for a lot of this. Um, where do we get most of our rank threes from? Treasure chest drop. Dreamweaver's exalted. The Arcway heroic. More of souls mythic. Dreamweaver's exalted. Dreamweaver's exalted. A rated battleground win. Interesting. Um, and then that's... Um, just the regular war height stuff. And the Graven scale is Broken Isles drop, Court of Stars heroic, a drop from Dantelion Axe. Interesting. Um, oh, it's, um, it is 20%, okay. Pengu is 12 gold without discounts but only 9 gold silver with exalted so a 20% discount ok Valhajar, another rated win and then Vault of the Warden's Heroic ok well it's a small discount whichever way you look at it whether it's 10 or 20% it's worth getting Especially when you're into the millions mark for amount. It's my take on it. Let's just move that down a little bit. So, um, in order to get more recipes, we need to do a fair amount of work on Earthen. Um, so I'm going to swap over to Joakening instead to try and get that a bit further. Ah, good evening, uh, Lemnikin. How are you? Doing very well here, thank you. And hello, uh, Badfish17. Thank you ever so much for the follow. Thanks for stopping by. So what's going on tonight? We are basically running through our characters, um, reposting as necessary, trying to make as much gold as we can. Half a million or one million, who cares? Peanuts, cough, <laughs> I wish. Yes, this is true, uh, Phyllis. Half a million is still a significant amount. That is very true. Smile early and often, the tip says. I'd agree with that. You want that 5 million mountain BFA? Yes. We've been talking about that all through the chat, uh, Lamnican. Um, it's 4 million with the reputation, though. So um, it's not quite so uh, impossible to reach. But I think, uh, yeah, a lot of people are saying... The mount is a good thing, and we should we should all get it. All right, what have you got? Have you got any alchemy-specific world quests? I'm not sure what I'd look for. What was that? Felwort gathered? Okay. This chat is a five-minute vendor mount support group now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> It targets the correct market for gold sink this time. Yeah, definitely. You can support me by sending all your gold. Spider was a bit of a misfire. True. Oh, thank you, Lamakin, for the uh, cheer. Very kind of you. You need it for your farming tunes. Absolutely, Asbestos Rogue. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. I mean, the spider was definitely hit and miss. Because there is the love-hate relationship with spiders. You know, not everyone likes them. Whereas with this mount, having an auctioneer on it is a definite win. It'd be great if it had a mailbox on the other side, you know, and a merchant on the back. 
that would be that would be super awesome, but maybe a bit OP. But then if you've got the toy that gives you a mailbox, then maybe you can just get around that easily enough. So looking at this, seems to not yet grasp how big of a deal mobile auction house for a farmer is. This is, I think so, Bill. It's, it's, it's a massive deal. Just being able to park yourself in one place, collect your things, post it on the auction house, and then... A dipping mount. <laughs> next gold sink for the next expansion will be 20 million. You get the mailbox, auction house and vendor. Yeah, I guess I don't think so. For the one after this. Also means you're consistently undercutting. This is what I think we'll see. We'll, we'll see a lot more frequent posting of stuff on the auction house. Um, and also, um, the flip side of that, I think we'll see a lot more frequent buying on the auction house. So that during raid times, I think you'll see people buying whilst they're raiding. And so I think there'll be, a, yeah, like you said, an increase in number of sales and and like a, um, a, through, a greater um, throughput. So people will pop out on their raids, get the things they need, and then put some more on. But then people will also be buying more more easily. I like this mount here. That's cool. <laughs> Lol in raids. Don't pull yet. Almost done with this cancel scan. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? And this poor yak mount will be a thing of the past, won't it? I mean, a farmer can just uh, run a quick TSM post scan every five minutes. Yeah, exactly. You farm, you you post, you farm. I mean, some markets might get flooded a bit too much. Free inventory is essentially in, like camping the auction house. Yeah. Oh, you still need it for the transmog. Yeah. Oh, okay. I speak out of lack of experience then for that one. Hey, Danny, how are you? Yes, we're slightly earlier today. I've not been feeling too well these past couple of days, so I'm doing an earlier one tonight, and then I won't have to stay up so late tonight. That's the plan, anyway. Oh, wow, two months subscribed. Wow, thank you ever so much, Danny. Very kind of you. With all your cheers as well, your support has been absolutely amazing. Thank you ever so much. So hyped for BFA and its gold-making potential. Me too, Lamakin. Me too. It's definitely going to be interesting times. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but um, it's going to be fun finding out. I'm not actually sure what I'm doing with Joakening here at the moment, actually. We've got a few things we can do with Joakening. We've got the alchemy side of things to progress on um, the levelling up from 741 to 800. We've also got those fine transmutes that Jack very kindly... Ooh, bless you, cat. So I collected up a load of recipes. So we've actually got some now. And so looking at this transmutation, we've got transmute um, cat sneeze. <laughs> yeah, there was. You okay, cat sneeze? Need a comforting stroke. There we go. Already drooling at the gold making opportunities in BFA. Yeah, I think so. Getting your five crafters to 120 and snipe flip the heck out of it the first month or so. Sounds like a good idea. Spend all that gold on that five million gold mount. Yes, absolutely. That's what we're saving up for. We're all going for it. Everyone wants that. Um, I just need the living steel one. Yeah, so um, the living steel one and the trillion one. Those are both... Um, Mr. Pandaria, aren't they? So will I have to actually pick those up from Mr. Pandaria? Craft Mr. Pandaria stuff. Okay, so Mr. Pandaria things for the discovery is what we want, isn't it? Um, is it anything? So make Mr. Pandaria pots. Okay, thank you. Um, so what's a Mr. Pandaria 
pot uh, flasks. I'm looking for something that's going to have a um, you have a chance to learn Pandaria alchemy recipe. So something like this, green leaf tea. Just find the cheapest Mr. Pandaria craft. Right you are. So this one needs green leaf tea. Potion of treasure for... Oh, I can make this now. This is a good thing. Um, potions by the... the. Those are the ones to make. Okay. That's the one I used. Okay. You have a chance to... So basically we need... Green leaf tea. Can we buy that? Um, it's 47 silver, so it seems quite cheap. Alchemist rejuvenation is easiest to farm for. Okay. Living steel pattern. Yes, we are, um, Danny. We're going to see... We'll check the auction house for green leaf tea. Right, let's go. Um, half back to Orgrimmar. Let's have a look. Just buy and craft. Here we go. Right. No worries, Danny. It was a bit unscheduled um, to have this early one, so I think I threw everyone by doing it this early. I'll probably be on for about another half hour to an hour maximum, and when my family gets back, then I'll uh, then I'll cut the stream short then. So uh, we'll do what we can in the time we've got. Uh, get stacks of it so you can get uh, as a random number to the living steel one. Right, you are okay. We have a plan. Green leaf tea. Now we do have some gold on us still. 5,000 gold. So we're doing alright on that front. Green leaf tea. What have we got? Let's have a look. So you need two living steel recipes and the one trillion one. Then I'm done. Okay. Um, I spelt something wrong there. Um, green. Let's have a look. What did I spell? Green tea leaf. Oh, there we go. Green tea leaf. Oh, no. Need a space in there now. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, so 47 silver. How much have we got? Ooh, well, that sucks. Hey, well, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Well, we'll buy what we can. Supply seems to be a problem. And the Torn, we combine 10. We don't, we've only got 8 there anyway, so that's no good to me anyway. Yes, the exact is a good thing to add in, um, almost gone be. Doing very well here, thank you. We're looking at alchemy and how we can um, collect up our recipes for this. So we are looking for the living steel recipe. So we're going to make alchemist rejuvenation. I need to go collect that from the mailbox. I've got a few things that have expired. So I'll pick those up. Right, how many can we make? We can make 61. Right, let's just hope random number Jesus is going to be kind to us. Dark water potion, potion of the mountains. Potion of the jade serpent. Elixir of the Rapids. Uh, Manted Elixir. Vermin's Bite. Ah, uh, oh, thank you, uh, Fennel Wow, for the follow. Riddle of Steel. Transmute Primal Diamond and Transmute Wild Day, Jade and River's Heart. One of two, that's good. Uh, Primordial Ruby, Flask of Spring Blossoms, Potion of Moju Powder, uh, Flask of Falling Leaves, and Winter's Flask of Winter's Bite. God, we're running through these. Ah, Transmute Living Steel. Fantastic. So out of 61, we did it. Stream of luck. Nice. Well, let's keep going. Riddle of, Riddle of Steel is Living Steel as well. Yeah, there's two of those, so we've got those. 
Now the trillium one. Okay, trillium we need. I haven't seen it appear yet. Elixir of mirrors. Flask of the warm sun. How many have you got left? Oh, did I get it? Oh, trillium was there, was it? Ah, oh, fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, everyone. I'll just catch up on chat. I missed uh, Fernal Wow. Did I catch you? Thank you for the follow. Um, God, there's loads of chat. Fantastic. And there we go. Uh, I think you got that. Trillium, trillium, trillium. Got that. Took about 200 to get this. Oh, okay. So I was lucky with the 61 then, definitely. Ah, good evening, Shin. How are you? How's your day been? I hope you had a good day. So, looking at our recipes that we just learnt. Hey, Exabyte, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Let's have a look at what we've got. Here's the list of people that need to know what to sell. We are lovely. Thank you for that. Hey, just walk around. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. So this handy list made by Jack has all the things to sell, which is really, really awesome. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this list. Let me just put this to the side. And we're going to decide to make this up a little bit. So um, the riddle is the one with no cooldown. Right, so I imagine that's going to be slightly more expensive to do than the other method. So what we've got here. Um, Is this another server we're playing on, or just both factions? Both factions, Wallow. Um, this one I did mainly for my son, who like wanted to play Horde, and so I boosted this character to 100, and then I carried on levelling him straight up. And I thought, as I've got him, I might as well get some professions on him. And so I went with um, something fairly self-contained. So I've gone with Alchemy and Herbalism for this character. Um, help you skill mining as soon as possible on a new tune on a new server. Ah, I would say um, you pretty much just need to keep on mining. If you've got gather mate and roots, you just follow follow roots round, and you should be able to mine um, fairly quickly. Um, if you pick the sort of the higher ore areas, you should be all right. It's just a question of going through and mining as much as you can. At least that's all I know of, unless there is a faster way that other people can suggest. Oh, smelting. Yes, that was a good point, Jack. Yeah. Auction houses on the same server are not separated by factions anymore. No, that's right, Wallo. They've changed that a long time ago. Um, the only problem is I can't really effectively swap gold between these characters. So what I've done in TSM is I've set up two profiles. Um, if we look here, I've got a Horde side profile and a Alliance side profile, which is my Samadan one, because my groups are different. So my groups are a lot smaller for the Horde side. And we're going to actually just go through and um, set some groups up for all this living steel and everything. Um, da, 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 mine spelting gives us um, sorry, in, if you're not looking for the gold immediately go to Pandaria Ghost Iron Ore is extremely close and you level very fast doing laps value of the ones, that's a good idea and you can sell it for quite quite a lot the Ghost Iron Ore does sell very well Shin loves selling Ghost Iron Ore yeah it's a good it's a good seller, definitely. Dip Jack for four million gold. Yep, everyone, everyone wants the mount. Right. So looking at this, transmute living steel needs trillium bars. So I'm going to have to get myself a shopping list of things. So let's start with a trillium bar. There's probably an easier way of doing this on mass, but I'm going to do this on each item. Trill E um bar. Let's have a look. Try making stuff from the ghost iron. Um from such as the inscription staffs. Okay. 
also can transmute ghost iron into trillium. Ah, okay. There doesn't appear to be any trillium. Just black and white trillium ore. So no trillium bars. So let's have a look at ghost iron. And see what the prices are for here. Um... So we want, um, but you need Spirit of Harmony for transmutes besides the daily cooldown. Yes, we will need to get quite a few things here. Now you want to be on that server and sell your Trillium. Yeah, definitely, Danny. There's none on here, so you can set your price. Spirit of Harmony, remember. Yes, exactly, because um, I remember. So that was, you said 1 20th of the price. Was it the ore or the bar? Uh, I didn't know I wanted to fix it in case you didn't know something wrong with this list one spirit of harmony is 20 ore we're going for ore are we? okay so ghost iron ore is currently at 19 gold and spirit of harmony Like this weird feeling of deja vu just now like really strong that I've just done this thing before ooh god that's expensive how are the moats looking 35 not much better okay Right, I missed all the stuff that's coming through here. Let me just have a look. Um, da, 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 but so one spirit of iron is ten bar. Bar swings. I can guess and set your price. One spirit of iron. Is, I think I'm lost now. One spirit of iron is five white trillium ore. Stop three spooky me. What's that? Oh, Kripata. Um, I don't know. What are the spirit prices on your server? Maybe two to buy spirits and use that to get the trillium. Okay. Damn messages too slow to update. Yeah. Okay. Um, you did an ore farm uh, for about two hours yesterday and your trillium veins gave you black, no wine. Okay. You made the change. Excellent. So you have 18 gardens. Okay, you were seeing the same things. White, whiteboard time. Yeah, I think so. Okay, right, okay. Um, so, there's all these things, all these ingredients of things that I know nothing about. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of research into this. Remember to use your Mr. Pandaria farm to plant Trillium. You know what? I think I might have to go and set that up. Let's go and do that, because that's going to be easier for me to do that now and get that set up, and then I'm going to go back and look at all these prices of things. So, okay. Because yeah, Spirit of Harmony is not... How do I get to Pandaria from Orgrimmar? Where's all the portals in this area? Oh, it takes like a week to set it up fully. Okay. Yes, Dalaran's probably a good idea. Okay. Valley of Honor. Right you are. Top right of map, you believe. Look for balloon. Right, okay. Thank you, everyone. Top right. Let's have a look. Ah, there's the balloon. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Da, 
It's so handy they got that balloon there. Flight is shorter from the Dalaran portal. Okay. Um, well, I haven't been to... Um, is that the only one I've got? Honeydew Village. Interesting. Let's go for it. Because I haven't been to Pandaria at all. So let's see what it's like from the Horde side of things. And see where we go from here. And we'll we'll get this started. We can fly here, can't we? Yes, we can. So, oh, look at all this green leaf tea we could have picked up. <laughs> now we've got green leaf tea by the millions. I have to remember to do some herbalism whilst I run around here. There we go, there's some. Where is it? Oh, that's a bit slow because we haven't got the um, legion enchant. There's only legion materials. All right, we're going to go over down this way, I'm believing. It's somewhere in here, perhaps. It's very pretty, this area. It really is. I haven't explored it much at all. Really nice. Serenity Falls. Okay, we've got more green leaf tea coming up. Uh, GatherMate 2 and GatherMate database is awesome for farming. Exactly. Um, almost gone B. That's the two add ons I've got here. And I've also got roots as well, which is super, super handy. Just going to pick some of this up whilst I'm flying because this is also going to level up my herbalism which is only at 117 at the moment so this is a good way to just expand on A my materials I'm going to need for alchemy and what have you and B I need to head further south I believe let's go have a look isn't this where the big Shah of Anger spawns for a mount? I remember my son showing this at some point. Hey, Pornista, how are you? You really enjoyed Miss Pandaria, minus the year-long siege raid time. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have it during. My, um, it's nice coming back to it, um, definitely. But I can imagine it was. Uh, it was worse during it. Here we go, Shrine of Two Moons. Where is the actual farm? It's down here, we only need to go a bit further. We're only Eternal Blossoms, we need to get up and over the next mountain. Okay. Emperor's Approach, let's look at this statue as we go past it. Look at that. I mean, look at the design on that. That's lovely. Um, watching the Gold Queen um, setting up her uh, anyway for the gather mate was interesting, to say the least. Ah, yeah, I didn't catch that stream. It does sound fascinating though, setting up actual programming stuff. Is there something I can get there? Can't see it very easily. Okay, let's carry on. So, um, do I have the Potion of Luck? Not sure I have. Um, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Uh, luck. Potion of luck. Yes, we do. Golden lotus. We need that. Oh. God, you, you're all very um, observant. I have to look these things up. Thank you for your observance Is this Half Hill Farm? I've never actually set this up before. You plant golden lotus at your farms. Now, Shin, you are the expert of the farm. I've seen you do this lots of times. Um, where is the farm? This looks like a, 
This is the Heartlands. It's over here, I think. This one. Okay, mostly you create your own price. That's for the um, for those potions, is it? Okay. There's, there's a herb. Let's go pick that up. You have to do quests to unlock it. Okay. So how much questing do I need to do? I wonder. I'll work. I'll go to the farm and I'll try and work my way backwards from here. Half Hill Market. Okay. So any quest. Look for the untidy bit. This bit over here. Looks rather untidy. There is your garden, all weedy. Right, okay, so we're going to need to find a quest of some kind. Have we got show low trivial quests? Let's turn this on. Let's have a look. Okay, so what have we got? Farmer Yoon. Okay, here we go. In the hut. Right, let's go with... I'm assuming that's him, Farmer Yoon, right. Let's let's give this a go. Okay. Never really done this before. Oh, thank you, Kaloin, for the follow. Very kind of you. So, having been... I think I did this a little bit with Samadan as I was levelling through a long time ago, but I never finished it off. So let's have a look at this. Uh, helping hand. We a breeze. Destroy eight unbudging rocks. Okay, that's a bit of breaking needed. Luckily we've got flight form. We can do this. Ah, there's a guide, yes. There's always a guide that I'd never read. This is me becoming in very unprepared. You are not prepared, Samadan. Rather, uh, it's awakening. Well, let's see what we can do with the lovely help of you lovely people in chat and see how far we can progress with this, at least for now. And then we'll get this um, get this at least started. Because this is going to help. That's a tiny rock, we can do this one. There we go. You can speed up the process a little by pre-planting some of the items. Ah, right. Okay, we've done the rocks. Where have you gone? Ah, you're in the hut. Hello. Hello. May the mist protect you. Okay. Hey, do I hear someone outside? Let's go have a look. Here you come. Hey, Yoon, come out here. Oh my, oh my. Mud claw. I didn't expect such an important visitor. Angry farmers. <laughs> you are the Heodan Mudclaw, um, head of the Tillers Union. They are master farmers. Okay, yes, sir. My grandfather left me this farm. Just move the other way. Nice to meet you, neighbour. Even know how to run a farm? No, what? I'll save you the trouble. Sell me this piece here of land and go back to where you came from. Well, that's not very nice. But it's my family farm, I can't just sell it. Besides, once I've gotten the hang of this, I want to be a tiller like the rest of you. You join the tillers, ha. Huh? You'll have to prove your farming skills. All five members of our council, they would never vote for you. Never say never, my grandpa always said. I'm going to give it my best shot. Do as you please, city boy, but I'll wager you won't last a week. I mean, just look at this dump. I give him five days, two days tops. Come on, boys, let's leave. Well, they're a bit grumpy, aren't they? Rather have angry farmers than drunk farmers. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, night star, thank you very, very much for the follow. Mudclaw is like a burgle cut from the Willow movie. God, I haven't seen Willow in a long time. I think I can't even remember it so much. Okay. So, okay, so did you hear what those tillers said about me being a city poor? I grew up in Dawn's Blossom, but I visited my grandpa a few times to know the difference. Okay, learn and grow seeds. Okay, here we go. Drunk farmers, Morris starting. <laughs> Even better. 
Speak with Merchant Greenfield and acquire a packet of green cabbage seeds. Okay, we can do that. Ooh, I need to fly. Green cabbage seeds. Who do we need to speak to? Well, there's lots of different ones here. Um, master of the pot. Is it you? Why? I'm here to pick up the seeds. He just inherited Sunsog Ranch. You can literally see him where you are standing. There we go. Uh, of course. There we go. Okay, next one's on me. That sounds very much like um, Nomi. Learn to grow seeds, low level. Required packet of seeds. Doing a great job. Here's some seed money. Uh, till two plots of untilled soil to create tilled soil. Then the easy grow green cabbage seeds on the two plots of tilled soil. Okay, so here's some soil. You're in shapeshift form. Okay, till soil. And then where's my seeds? Learn and grow. Easy grow green cabbage. Till soil. Easy grow green cabbage. There we go. Fun to watch future husband and wife in that movie when she um, kicks him in the face. <laughs> then do we harvest them? No, we don't harvest them yet. Uh, no sow, those seeds sprouted immediately. That's part of what makes the valley so ideal. Okay. Work's not done yet though. We've got to water them. Yeah, there we go. Watering can. Easy grow watering can. We've got a watering can. There we go. And another one. And then... Tending crops. Uh, all kinds of advice. Just make sure strict related to farming. Okay, harvest the cabbages. What do we do to harvest them? Uh, they off. Okay. Ah, now we can harvest them. And harvest that one. Oh, oh, we just did the soil. Whoops. There we go. Let's try that again. Harvesting, low level. There's the cabbage. We've got that. Uh, farming giant turnips and roses, you know. And then... Investigate the dark soil underneath the house. Okay, what's underneath your house? Oh, I see it. Where is that? Oh, marsh lily. There we go. Making me want to start another farm. You should, Shin. Okay, what was that for? Marsh lily. Do we give that to someone? Who's down here? Gina Mudclaw, learn and grow, uh, Marsh Lily, um, thank you, here, yeah. you will receive 11 gold, plant and harvest one scallion, then deliver five scallions to Gina, okay, uh, where do we plant and harvest them, where's that, down here somewhere, oh. fresh bread, hold on, Is this the thing I wanted? I'm not sure it is. I'll pick some up anyway. Let's read the quest again. Um, scallion seeds can be purchased from Merchant Greenfield at the market. Okay, Merchant Greenfield. That's you with a speech mark on it. And we want... Um, five... Uh, scallion seeds. Five scallion seeds. These ones. Let's take. Let's buy some of these up. Let's, well, let's take five for now. There we go. Um, if you talk to them, uh, they tell you what they want the most. Okay. So now we need to. Are we planting these? Let's give it a go. 
Let's see if we can work this out without reading the text. Plant scallion seeds, harvest ripe scallion. So in my bag, what have you got? Oh, there's a recipe here. What's this for? Draft of raw magic. Pick that up. Right, where are these scallion seeds? Too much stuff in my bags. There they are. That one, and that one, and that one. Now do we water these? Doesn't look like we do. Looks like we can just, uh... Ooh, look at that. What's this for? Why's that got a little exclamation mark on it? Oh, here comes something. Swooping thing. Oh, we'll hop on top of this. What's this? Pull. Um, do I move or just click it? Keep pulling until the weed gives. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ah, it's got a weed. Okay, I see. Right you are. Lovely. Thank you, Mama Kinder. Is that everything? Did we get what we wanted? Make sure to tend those guns after that, but wait until tomorrow. That'll be nice and ripe. Um, okay, nothing to do but wait till tomorrow. Right, so we've tended them. Water the other one. Yeah, this one looks like it's uh, a bit parched, doesn't it? Um, do we have a watering can? Weeds and pests. Did I actually have a watering can? Yes, rusty watering can. I'm going to have to make a little half hill farm row of icons here I think and what else have we got here let's take that and then water that one did that work drink of water quenching parch crop within five yards in front of the caster there we go there we go, right, okay. Do a bit more, or is that gone? Yes, that's gone now. Okay. Well, that's good. So is that all we can do for now, I wonder? We planted those, we have to wait for them to come, harvest ripe scallions. Stealing is bad, re-stealing is okay. Um, the hose up in the mountains, the west continue to steal vegetables. My fellow farmers being so close to Half Hill seems like they steal way more. Re-steal 16 stolen vegetables. Lesser charm of good fortune uh, will result in great happiness and the eventual conversion into Warforged Seals, which allow players to risk a coin to receive a bonus reward from raid encounters. Can't see that being useful to me at this point. I'll leave that one for now. Right, well that's that's good, that's progress. We have our first farm, so we need to make sure we revisit this. Is there an easy way to get back here? I mean, I could hearthstone, I guess. That could be an option. Uh, tell you what to plant in advance so that when you show up it'll already be grown and you can pick it for the next day's quest turn in. Right, okay, school Shane. Looks like we're gonna have to uh, read the guide then. Okay, well, a good start. Happy with that. You like putting your stone there in the hub, since it has portals to all cities. The inn at the top of the hill is a save point. Yeah. Yeah. 
Is that an inn? It looks like an inn. There you are. Although we don't want, um, also after you fully open the farm, that little shack can be a half point. Ooh, okay. Do I really want to do this though? Because I do need my auction house in Orgrimmar. Unless there's an easier auction house I can get to. I mean, I could go old Dalaran route for auction house, but Let's leave this for now, actually, because what I'll do is I'll use the uh, portal and fly over because then I can collect herbs along the way and do a bit of both at the same time. Okay, there's a plan. We'll come back and we'll sort this out later. Hey, Nanny, how are you? Or go to the Golden Vale and put your stone there as a portal to Orgrimmar. This is true. Like, as you were saying, Danny, that was a good idea. Um, so, let's go. Excited for the new mount? Yes, we all are. Um, it's uh, it's an exciting one for sure. We are uh, we were just talking about that earlier. Uh, I think everyone's hyped for... I mean, you've got to save up 4 million, so, you know, it's a lot of... That's with the, um, the reputation bonus. Uh, now I've got to go the other side. I'm used to going this side. Um, horde side. Is this horde side? No, that's pilot hold. I always get confused as to which side I'm at. Where's the alliance side? And I can go from there. That's alliance side, so this must be horde side. Windrunner's Sanctuary, and where's Orgrimmar, Silvermoon, Thunderbluff, Undercity, Veil of Eternal Blossoms, there we go. And it has an auction house. Yes, that's true. Don't you have to be a, um engineer to use the auction house, or is that something I misheard or misunderstood from someone? Right, where is the... Where is the hearthstone person? I'm assuming you're going to be in here somewhere. Lots of people in there. I remember doing this as... Yeah, I'm not sure either. Um, Hall of Secrets. Hall of the Crescent Moon. Let's look at the map. Summer's Rest. Okay. Hey, Gregor, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. We're just currently looking for where we can put our hearthstone in here somewhere. It's bound to be somewhere. There's a mailbox. <laughs> Gregor's everywhere. Um, let's have a look. Let's go upstairs to one of the sides. Okay. Thank you, Fandek. Let's go have a look. Now, I believe last time I went left with um, the Alliance side. I wonder if it's the same but mirrored with this side. Fishing supplies. Jade vaults. What have you got? There, there, there. And then we've got you. Oh, here we go. Can you show me where um, an inn is, please? Okay, it's on the other side. There we go. Downstairs for sure. Right, where did we just come in from? Let's go around here. Damn maps being upside down, it's difficult to follow.
Is it down here in the end? Let's have a look. Let's zoom in a little bit. Hold on. Round here. Let's have a look round here. Aha, Summer's Rest. You're an in-person. There we go. Make this in your home. There we go. Fantastic. What can I find here in the city? Upstairs you'll find the bank vaults and the city's portals, vendors. Oops, there we go. Press escape. I need to find my way around here now. So now if we come here and we have a look, um, let's get our bearings. So your uh, item upgrade thing, Hall of Secrets. And then here we've got portals, right you are. Thunderbluff, Orgrimmar, Undercity, Shatrath, and Old Dalaran. Right, so this is the same as the Alliance side. Then we've got food and drink, cooking, a brewmaster. Okay, and what's in this side? Oh, there's another innkeeper here, and a bartender. That might be a nice one to put here as your home, because you're right near the portals then. That could be handy. I'll stick with this one for now. Gonna look where the auction house is going to be. That's transmogrifier. Item upgrade. Let's speak to someone about where the auction house... There's the mailbox. Wandering around, wondering where to go. That's more cooking supplies. There's loads of cooking supplies in here. Right, here we go. Um, I'll just ask you where the other auction house is. Auction well, houses can be found in your home city. I thought there was an auction house here, or am I misunderstanding? Dual crafting supplies, leatherworking skinning supplies. Hmm. Maybe not. Well, at least what we can do. Yeah, you need engineering. Yeah, that's what I did think. So what I'm going to do is... What's going to be the best one? Um, so this doesn't help me with half hill as much as I thought it would. So I might stick to having my hearth stone right near Orgrimmar. Because I know that now, I'm familiar with the area. And I know how to get to that from there, and then I can fly from there, or I can do it from Dalaran. So we've got some choices. Let's go back to where I was. Because familiarity is always a good thing. And then you can grow from there. Where was... Valley of... Where is my Valley of... Wisdom. Here it is. This is what I wanted. At least I know this area for now. And my hearth was there. Let's reset this to here. And then we've got here for the auction house and the mailbox. Whilst we're here, let's have a look. Right, okay, so um, we were looking at the transmutes and we had all this different stuff. The ghost iron, the trillium bars, spirits of harmonies, motes of harmonies. There's a whole load of different things we could use to get various things. So we've got here Trillium Bars. That's new, actually. I don't think they were there before, were they? 253 gold. And what was our crafting of Trillium? Let's have a look. Um, 
Da, da, da. Those are cheap, are they? Yeah, they do seem. They're 79%. So that goes to transmute living steel, which needs 6 trillion bars. Uh, that's the one with the Spirit of Harmony. And the other one was... Well, let's buy these first, actually, whilst we're waiting. They're tuna. Let's have a look. Let's buy these first. Spend first. Research second. Okay, they're two and a half K on your server. Um, let's have a look at Living Steel. Living Steel, currently 1,800 for those. Fun to farm the Tillers farm for those mats. Yes, definitely. Um, that's what we're setting up at the moment. We're setting the farm up. Um, so we, we're a bit behind on everything, so we're just starting everything up. So we were looking at... Okay, so... Crafting cost of the trillion bar from the ghost iron is not a profit. That's fine. Um, but the trillion bar itself, there was the other thing, wasn't there? What was the thing I was looking for? The alternate. That was the. That's the non. Is that the cooldown way or the non cooldown way? That's the non-cooldown way, because it doesn't use Spirit of Harmony. I see. But this one, the crafting cost, is coming from the Spirit... The three... The three and the Spirit. Okay. There we go. Okay. Right, I'm with you now. TSM was giving me the different option. Okay, let's buy these up. Riddle of Steel, that's it. So you now paid six bars, one and a half K, so 300 profit plus chance of proc. Ah, so what happens when I make one? Let's have a look. Transmute living steel, we can make two. And before we do this, let's make a group up that includes our trillion bars. So this is gonna be a shopping group. We're going to add in trillion bars. There we go. Highest proc is still 10. Well, you, mean, you mean you actually get 10? Or maybe 5. Okay, for the master. 5. Okay, right. Here we go. So, I'm going to I'm going to sit down and, and research this properly so that I get everything sorted. Let's go back to me alchemy. All right, transmute living steel, create. Okay. Uh, of this makes you can only be done once. Yet. So you create living steel. Right. Okay. So we've made one. We can only do it once a day. So we've got our daily cooldowns. What we're going to do is add this to our favorites so we've got it up at the top transmute living steel and so whenever we have enough trillion bars just realized you moved off screen <laughs> whoops ah good evening Glenn. how are you thanks for stopping by you've had over five proc and 7.3 okay that's cool that's good to know so what else we got let's look at the list jack's amazing list Ah, oh, you've reformatted it. That looks cool. Okay, so true gold. Let's have a look at true gold. Transmute true gold. Wow, that needs loads of stuff. Volatile fire, volatile water, pyrium bar, and volatile air. Right. 
We're doing very well, thank you. We're just learning our alchemy transmutes. We're, with the help of Jack and everyone else in chat, we're working out what we need to do. We've started on our farm in Half Hill, so that's that's going. And now we're just working through all the other things we need to do. I just realised the time, actually. I'm going to have to wrap this up soon. Um, just farming for them. True gold is a pain. Ah, oh, okay, my Mekinder. You can also transmute for a Pyrium bar. Okay. Pyrium are a nice transmute. Okay, we've... We've not got Pyrium in the list. But that's one to add. Definitely. Pyrium from always a um, hefty profit for you. Okay, good to know. Oh, to make the Pyrium to then go into this. Right, okay, here we go. So the crafting cost of that is actually a profit, according to this, because we need an Elementium bar to make the Pyrium bar. Okay. One bar a day transmute. Okay, right, so... I'm going to have to write all this down. I'm going to sit down and write this down in my spreadsheet. Uh, not my spreadsheet, my real-time board, and then go through this. Because true gold, wow, 3,700 is currently sat at that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> You're a very good PA. You are, Costa. You're about 10 steps ahead of me. I should make you a mod. Right, okay. So we've got volatiles we need to search for. And Matt costs 81, 34, Pyrium bar. Should you start streaming yourself? Yeah. Good idea. If you're up for it, I'm always uh, happy to see more gold streamers. Transmute is fun. Yeah, it does seem to be. It does seem to be. Okay, we've got... Um, well, let's get this... Tell you what we'll do before we do this one, because I haven't got long left. I want to get this... Um, you can farm 100 water. Right. Yes, because volatiles you can go and farm, can't you? There's, you can farm anything. Um, alchemy, we want to sell living steel, so um, let's make a new group, and we're going to call this um, selling. If you use a treasure potion, uh, you even get pyrim ore as a bonus. Um, Yes, I, I tested that out in um, the Ember Silk farm I did earlier today. And I got some Pyrium through that. Um, selling uh, Jack's Alchemy list. There we go. So this is going to be living steel. KOS be the yin to my yang. <laughs> I cut that in cost yes. Okay, but use your hunter to farm that. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, da -da -da, Trish Potent. Transmute 15 life to a volatile as well. Okay. Uh, do that for a few reasons. Once it shares cooldown and volatile life is needed to craft the vial of sands. Okay, right, right you are. Just not enough time in the day. This is very true. My hunter is only 38, so a long way off. And also because we're horde side, and um, we can't transfer easily. So we might have to leave that one for now. The living steel, looking at this, min buyout, crafting cost was 1,400. So, that's what your fans are for. <laughs> Go farm the bee queen in Zolgar for a bit air and life. Okay, potion you shoot forward, loot, shoot, dash, loot, dash. Ah, okay. So, let's do... A new operation. 
Let's call this um, crafting standard one ten percent because I use this on my other my other version. So we'll do forty eight hours. Um, post cap to five stack size to 20 maybe I don't know what I'm doing for these mainly at the moment actually let's keep this at singles these are single items we're selling them in singles uh, oh did I miss something uh, oh you got the bonus sense excellent Mama Kinder. congratulations indeed Pixie Master has a proc chance yeah I've definitely got there's some a lot of options here with alchemy isn't there Looks like it's time for group mats farming night. Yeah, that's a good idea, Apple. I think we've got lots and lots of uh, ideas floating around here. I haven't quite been able to digest them all. And so a lot of them I can feel spilling on the floor. So I'm gonna have to come back to this and uh, rethink my what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna do it. So we're allowing partial stacks. We're just doing the one living steel at the moment. Um, up to five of them and Pricing minimum is going to be 100 and oops, 110 percent crafting. Our maximum is going to be 5,000 percent crafting, and our normal is going to actually. Let's change this to a average. Now we had a good one, me and Trax Gaming came up with. The normal price is going to be um, 150, actually let's make that a little less, 120, no, 150, 150% DB region market and 150% DB market. And it's going to be the average of those two and then it's going to be the maximum between 200% um, crafting or the average between those two and then end brackets there, if that makes sense. So my normal price will be the maximum between either 200% crafting or the average 150% um, DB market, 150% DB region market. And if it's at maximum price, post at maximum price. And minimum, post at minimum. Okay, there we go. Right. All right, I missed out loads of uh, chat there. Uh, da, 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 da. Thank you, really shocked. You know, everyone has a pain getting it. Yeah, it's really down to luck with that one, Kinder. So you did well to get it so early. You sell the transmutes and the valve sands flasks and sell the mounts so you can make gold from both markets. Good idea, Jack. Um, so anyone wants a drake, uh, get the mats and you'll make it for you. Oh, very kind of you, Mkinder. Some people would rather buy the mats and let someone else make the mounts rather than let them buy from me than someone else. Fair enough. Mounts and the mats for the mounts. Sounds like a good idea. Might as well maximise your um, abilities. So yeah, I'm down to 1,300 gold. So we are going to be limited as to what we can do with um, Joe Awakening here. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm probably going to go off and do some herbalism as well. So let's see how quickly this sells for. Let's add this in. So we've got... Um, so that's above max price, posting at normal price. Interesting. What is the price of that? 723... Normal price is 775, max price is ridiculously high, so we'll ignore that one. Living steel we're undercutting the competition on, which is the one we want for selling that for 1,800 currently. So let's post that up. Gathering professions are soul destroying. They can be fun, I find, when you're when you're exploring the world. Okay. So we need some gold on Joe Awakening. So let's hope that that, um, that sells and then we'll take it from there. Right, I think I'm probably running out of time now. Uh, my family's going to be due back soon. So 
I think I might have to end the stream there. Put on a good show or music while farming. Makes it much easier. Yeah, that's true. Or have some lovely chat uh, whilst you stream and that makes it... Oh, you just got here. Oh, sorry, Kyofin. I know I threw a lot of people off by uh, streaming earlier today. Um, so apologies for everyone who's expecting me to stream later. Um, I have been a bit ill these past couple of days, so I thought I'd stream earlier and then um, try and get back onto a normal schedule later. I wasn't planning on streaming tomorrow. Um, it depends entirely on how I feel and how um, what my family's up to. I might do a bonus extra one um, tomorrow, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and my next planned stream was going to be Sunday, but we'll see how things go. Um, I may throw in some extra ones, so uh, keep your follows active, and I'll post in Twitter and the Discord. Um, tips Jack for 50 million. <laughs> Excellent. So I'm not normally leaving at this time, so let's see who's on that we can throw a host over to. We've been doing uh, pointy this past couple of times, so let's throw, ah, let's throw, as we were talking about him a little bit earlier, let's throw one over to Traxindus, because he helped me out with that operation I was just talking about. So I'm going to do that one. Get streaming, Jack. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> always welcome fellow streamers but then it's nice to have uh, yeah that's the one pandalus I'm gonna throw a host over to Traxindus because he helped me out with some operations earlier so it'd be nice to pass on some gold making love that direction Right, well, big thank you to everyone who stopped by. Uh, thank you ever so much. Let me just type this out so I can do the host. Um, da -da -da. T -R four X I N D E S. There we go. Right, thank you all. Um, for stopping by tonight. Uh, apologies, it was earlier and I threw everyone off, but thank you all for stopping by. Your um, company has been most welcome. I can feel my throat going a bit hoarse now already, so it's probably a good time I have a rest and uh, see how things go. I'll keep you posted as to when I'm next streaming. Um, hopefully I'll be able to throw in some extra ones. Uh, fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes basically over the next time. So until next time, have a great evening and I'll see you again soon.